Hi guys, it's Christine. Welcome back and welcome if this is your first time here. So in today's video, we're going to continue unboxing that Goodwill Blue Box from North Carolina. And if this is indeed your first time here, my first name is Christine and my channel is called Girlio and I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark and eBay and I do direct sales on YouTube. So if you're interested in anything you see in these videos, please feel free to contact me at girlyorocks at gmail.com and we can work something out. Okay guys, so this is what was left of the box and let's go dive in and see what's in here. Okay, so I'm gonna put this on the floor and I will pull some items out and see what's here. Hope everyone is doing well, staying warm, enjoying the weather if you're in some place warm right now. It's definitely cold in New York right now. There's some bonus here. Okay guys, what is this? This is a, ooh, it looks like it has some rust. You can see that, it's too bright, maybe. But we have a sort of rusty chain here. And perhaps this could be cleaned, not sure. But um, yeah, it's definitely rusty and it's broken, so. This will go into craft. If anybody wants this, this will be a dollar. Okay, next we have this gold flower necklace. This Natasha necklace. And it's quite gorgeous. It's gold tone. This is a really beautiful necklace. It's got all these flower stations here, these leaves, and this measures in at, has 11 inch drop, so it's 22 inches wearable length with an extender about three inches. It's in pretty good condition. Really pretty. Um, there is some wear on the back. Some bonus hair. Ooh, that's really lovely. Beautiful. Beautiful gold tone necklace. So we have that. Pretty. Okay. Okay, next we have this rather dramatic necklace here. We have this wire wrapped concentric circle pendant and it has a looks like dyed howlite piece in there. And this is a cord, some sort of faux leather. This is not marked as a lobster clasp. That's really dramatic. And lovely. Um, let's get a measurement on this. This measures approximately has about an eight and a half inch, has about a nine inch drop, so it's about 18 inches around the neck with a four inch extender. It's pretty. I don't think this is sterling. Yeah, it's definitely not sterling. If anybody wants this, this will be dollars. It's quite dramatic. Okay, next we have this, and it's by Sapphire. And it's a faux pearl necklace. And it's a light gold wash. And it's in this rosary style. This measures 16 inches around the neck with a three inch extender. That's pretty for layering. If anybody wants this, this will be $2. Okay. Let's see what we have here. Okay, 
so we have this necklace, which looks like a Nakamole necklace. It's very tribal. It's gorgeous. Wow, oh, that's really pretty. And these beads feel cold to the touch. These are... I'm not sure what these are. These could be turquoise. Or... I'm not sure. And they don't really feel cold to the touch. These are gorgeous beads. I see beads. Pretty necklace. I love this colorway too. Just gorgeous. So here's the top of the necklace. And here is the bottom of it. That's pretty. Okay, so let's get a measurement on this. This measures about 24 inches around the neck. We have a really long extender of about five inches. That is gorgeous. And this is not marked, but that's beautiful. Yeah, if anybody wants this, this will be $10. That's pretty. Okay, then next we have this pretty cobalt blue necklace. Um, these are not cold to the touch, so these are acrylic. Are they? I think they're... I think they could be glass. But they're, they need a little bit of cleaning. And this chain here has some verdigris on the tag right there. See the verdigris? But it's a very pretty color, and the chain is definitely worn. And there is some verdigris going on, and on the back here. But this is a J. Crew. It's really pretty, but it has a lot of wear. So if anybody wants this, this will be four dollars. This is 14, we'll do $3 on this one. It's just got a lot of wear. That's 14 inches with an extender of about four inches. If anybody wants this J. Crew, it'll be $4. Very pretty, but very dirty. Okay. Let's grab some more stuff out of it. Okay, oh, we have a match to the earring we found in box one. These glass earrings. Very pretty brown colored glass, but they um, do show some wear here on the glass. Some of the foil you could see has come off. It's still pretty. These are not sterling, so we have those. Okay, next we have this. These full cold to the touch. I don't know if this is goldstone. Could be a faux goldstone. We have this toggle clasp here. And this necklace measures in at 26 inches around the neck. Really pretty. And these look like tiger eye in between the little beads here. Let's um, bring the presidium in and see if it detects these to be anything. So let's bring that in. Let's check this. Hmm, these are registering as glass. So these are glass, but they look like a faux goldstone. And let's see if these are tiger eye. Yeah, these are definitely tiger's eye. Definitely tiger's eye. So that's nice. And is this sterling? Possibly could be. I don't see a mark on it, but we could test and see. No, I could see the copper coming through here. So when I did the scratch, it's not silver. So I believe this to be silver tone. It's a beautiful necklace, regardless. If anybody wants this, this will be $4. Okay, 
Next we have this beautiful seed bead necklace. And we've got some bugle beads here. And the chain looks a little bit worn. We have a lobster clasp here. It's unmarked. This is like a choker style. You wear that around your neck. Um, let's get a measurement on this. It's definitely some wear on the cord here. This measures 14 inches with an extender of 3 inches. If anybody wants this, this will be $2. Okay, next we have this necklace. And this one is a Charming Charlie. And we have all these teardrop faceted These are acrylic or some type of resin beads. And then we have these filigree bindings. It's really pretty. There is a little bit of wear throughout, but nothing too crazy. This measures at 20 inches with a three inch extender. It's really pretty. You could definitely make earrings out of this too. A bunch of earrings. If you didn't like this necklace. So if anybody wants this, this will be three dollars. Okay, next we have this jumbo chunker of a necklace. Got these beautiful beads. Oh, wow. We have a Mickey Mouse or Minnie Mouse rhinestone pendant here. That's really cute. She's got rhinestones all over. There's a missing rhinestone right there. It's hard, uh, right there, I think. It's hardly noticeable. And we've got these really pretty beads here. These are really unique. They have like an indention in them. These striped ones, these sort of crackle beads, and these disco balls. Bonus hair. Ooh. And then we've got these cube beads, and these are all acrylic. And we have this interesting toggle clasp. So. Let's get a measurement on this guy. This measures 26 inches around the neck wearable length, and I don't think this is sterling. Yeah, that's uh, also very coppery. So we have this Mickey Mouse or Minnie Mouse necklace. And this is the top, and then this is the bottom. Very unique. If anybody wants this, this will be four dollars. Okay, we have a really, really unruly tassel here. <laughs> wow. These beads feel cold to the touch. Let's see if I can untangle this. Is this one or two necklaces? Let's see. I think it is two. But I think this chain is tangled up in the tassel. Okay, so let's look at this. This is a beautiful gold tone chain, lobster clasp, and this is a rope chain here. And then we have, oops, these beautiful beads, and these don't feel cold to the touch. I think these are just acrylic. Let's, oh, maybe they are cold to the touch. Let's see. See if these are anything. I think these are just glass. Or barely glass. It's not registering as anything. We have this beautiful necklace. 
and that this is the top of it. And then we have this gorgeous pink beads here. This could definitely be doubled up, worn like that. Pretty. Beautiful beads on this. Okay, next we have this beautiful necklace, and I think this is a mala. Beautiful, beautiful stones here. These feel cold to the touch. Look how pretty these are. Gorgeous sort of mint colors, a little bit of purple. And we've got the bonus hair. The tassel's very unruly. I'm sure somebody can tame that tassel somehow. But let's test these and see if these register as anything on the Presidium. And these are definitely something. Um, it's registering as a garnet tourmaline iolite. Or, hold on, it could be a chrysophase. Let's see. Um, it's definitely in the... More so the tourmaline, I think. So maybe this is a tourmaline. I'm not sure what this is, but it's very pretty. Beautiful beads here. And I'm sure you can tame this tassel somehow. Maybe brush it or hair dry it. Or give it a little bath. But this is beautiful. Um, this measures in at... Forty inches around the neck. So we have this mala necklace. Next we have this leaf pendant necklace and this is brass and there's some wear here on the pendant but it's beautiful and I think all the rhinestones are there. There's this faux marcasite look to it. It's pretty. The chain is definitely antiqued brass. And there's no mark on it. This measures 26 inches around the neck. Very pretty. And this pendant is about three and a half inches. Very lovely. If anybody wants this, this will be three dollars. Okay, next we have this cute bracelet got this button and cord closure. These are full pearls and they're knotted individually. And then we have this patinaed brass or copper. I can't tell. It's got this verdigris patina on it. Very pretty angel wing. That's cute. Really like that. Let's get a measurement on him. He measures, or she measures, in at six and three quarters. It's pretty. If anybody wants this, this will be four dollars. Beautiful. We have beautiful faceted crystal earrings. But these are glass. These are glass. Pretty. Then we have a single earring here. This is acrylic. We have some handcuffs, and these say freedom. Freedom, ironically. And there is some, I don't know if that's where, but it is, I believe this to be an anklet. So I think it's too big to be a bracelet, but it is cute. Okay, we have this beautiful bead ball chain, multi-string, multi-chain necklace. Very pretty, gold tone. It's sort of a choker, I think. You could wear it as a choker. Very pretty. Let's see what this measures in at. This measures in at 10 inches around the neck, so you have to have a really small neck with an extender of about 13 inches. So it's 10 to 13 inches around the neck. Very pretty though. So we have that. If anybody wants this, this will be $4. 
Then we have a little snowflake earring. Rhinestone. Okay. And we have a couple more items and a lot of little bits and baubles. Not too much stuff here. I'm just going to grab everything. Oops. And pour it out all on the table. Let's see what we have. what we have here. We have this little teeny tiny earring. It's not marked. It's very dirty. I don't think this is anything. Nope, it's nothing. I have a little miscellaneous acrylic stone. We have a purple acrylic earring. We have this lovely AB earring. Cute. Um, I don't know if this is glass. Let's see if it is. Oops. I'm not sure if this is glass, but it's pretty. We have that. Then we have a hoop earring. We have a match here. These are not marked. We have these hoop earrings. If anybody wants these, these will be a dollar. And we have a match to these are blue crystal earrings. Very pretty. If anybody wants those, those will be a dollar too. Okay, oh, we have a match to the purple one. Those will be a dollar. We have these little teeny tiny purple studs pretty color. Let's see if these are anything. I think these are just glass. Pretty purple color stud earrings. Okay, we have a little pendant. And he's cute. He's an owl. He's got these blue eyes. His eyes are not registering as anything. Let's see if his body is. His body is registering as something. And it seems to be somewhere in the garnet tourmaline iolite. I wonder if this is a lapis. I don't know. It's definitely something. So we have this pendant. Very cute. Owl. And I don't think he's sterling. We can scratch him and see if he is. Uh, I think that is definitely coppery, so he's not sterling. But he's cute. Cute pendant. And he measures in at about two inches. Very nice owl. If anybody wants him, he will be five dollars. Next, we have another sapphire, and this is made for Cracker Barrel Old Country Store. Okay, and this is a charm, and then it says Francois. It's a coin, a Franks, it's Frank coin. Charm, very cute. Um, if anybody wants this, this will be Four dollars. Okay, then we have an earring here, a pearl. This is not marked. That. Then we have this little cameo. This is pretty. This is very beautiful. It's gorgeous. See that. I don't 
don't know what this guy is actually doing here. It's very interesting. Let's see, this is sterling. It is not. But it's very cute. So we have that. And there's some wear on here. Yeah, there is some wear right there, like some rust or something. So we have that. The match to the earring that we saw earlier. And I wonder if these are amber actually. So these are marked. On the back of this, this says Napier. Cute earrings by Napier. Faux amber studs. Rose quartz pendant. I think this is a type of quartz. Let's test it and see if it is quartz. It just doesn't want to register as quartz. It's in the garnet tourmaline iolite. Let's see. Hmm. Not sure, but it does look like. Or is it just glass? It's very temperamental. I think it's definitely something. Not sure, but it's pretty. It's got this bevel set setting, it's gold paint, very beautiful. This measures in at two inches. If anybody wants this, this will be four dollars. Okay, we have a blue little bead. It's like glass. Then we have these are these gold knot earrings. Very cute. These are marked. They say something. Um, they say, hmm, so tiny, guys. Okay, so guys, I think this is Thailand. 925 IBB. Okay. So I think these are Vermeer earrings. Let's see if I can test these to see. Yeah, I definitely think they are 925. I definitely got a better scratch on it, and the post is definitely sterling. We have these really cute. Thailand IBB Sterling Vermeer Love Knot Earrings. Cute, teeny tiny guys. So that's nice. Okay, happy about those. Little teeny tiny earrings. They match to the Borealis, Aurora Borealis earrings. And these are not marked. Very cute though. If anybody wants these, these will be $3. And then we have these little guys. These are marked 925. These little teeny tiny CZ earrings. Let's mark these, let's test these. These are CZ's glass. They're 925 sterling. You can test these and see. Really tiny, petite guys. Yeah, that definitely looks sterling to me. I just. Okay, then we have this little gold clamshell earring. See that? Very cute. 
So we have one of these, and let's see. Oh, that's a mark of sorts. But it looks like it might be like, but I can't make that out. So we have one of these. And we have a match here. So these two little clamshell earrings. Very cute. Okay, then we have a stretchy bracelet. And the rhinestones here look a little bit of damaged. Sort of shows some wear. But if anybody wants this, you can see it's some scratching on the surface of all these rhinestones here. If anybody wants this, this will be a dollar. I'm going to put this in craft. It's pretty. Then we have these hoop earrings that are made out of chain. And these are marked. It says Trafari. These are Trafaris. See that? So these are nice, really cute. Trafari earrings. like those a lot. We have those. And then we have this little gold tone bar and pearl earring. We have one of these. We have a stud here. Then we have a hoop. Really pretty looking hoop. Just one of those. And we have this sort of abalone shell earring. And we found the match in the first part. It's are cute. If anybody wants these, these will be $2. We have another CZ earring. And we have, oh, we have a match to that gold tone hoop. These are unmarked. Very cute. Anybody wants these? These will be a dollar. Okay, we have another stud here. And I don't think this is. Hmm. That's interesting. These guys are registering as Tanzanite Aqua. That's interesting. Hmm. I don't know. This could be. They're very pretty. These are not glass. Not sure, but we have these. Pretty earrings. And then we have a match to that pearl earring we saw earlier. Really pretty earrings. We have these. If anybody wants these, these will be Three dollars. Very pretty. Okay. Oh, we have a match to these earrings. These will be a dollar. If anybody wants them, I don't think these are marked. Okay. And we have this J. Crew necklace. Pretty colors. We've got these fluorescent, different blues, milky blue, dark blue, sort of a gray blue here. And so this is J. Crew. And 
This is in better condition than the other one. For sure. So let's measure this guy. This one measures in at 16 inch with a 2 inch extender. It's really pretty. I think the stones are all there. If anybody wants this J. Crew, this one will be nine dollars. Very pretty. Then we have this, and I think these are plugs of sorts, and they are OG 8mm acrylic, Pierced Nation, originally $14.99. If anybody wants these, this will be $5. We have Time and True earrings, six pairs. These are really pretty, these pretty studs here, these pink studs. Got these little ones, really cute. They were four eighty-eight. If anybody wants all three of these, these will be a dollar. These will be a dollar if you want this. And then we have Pierce Nation again. Titanium. Ooh. So we have these. Wow, this is um this was $29.99. So we have that. If anybody wants this, don't know if this is all of it, but um I'm not sure I'd price this. If anybody wants this, this will be ten dollars. Then we have another sapphire made from made for a cracker barrel. I've got this pearl here. And it's another one of these little charms. If anybody wants that, that'll be four dollars. Okay guys, so that was all that was in this North Carolina box. So let me know guys if you had any favorites in this part. I think my favorites were this J. Crew. These earrings are nice. Oh, these little love knot earrings. Um, this owl guy. Um, these earrings by a Trafari. Shell earrings were cute. I definitely don't think this was the best box. So. I know that Kristen D uh, wrote a letter to. Goodwill Blue Box complaining about these boxes since they've raised their prices to about $50 and um, the boxes just have gotten progressively worse. A lot of people are not getting quality jewelry and it's just, yeah, not as fun as it used to be. <laughs> but um, yeah, I think I'm going to, I think I have one more blue box, I think, that I purchased before their price increase. I think I'm going to give these a break again. And please comment down below. Let me know what your favorites were. If you had any, please like, comment, subscribe. And most of all, guys, be well.